What's up, Packers? It's Goldie, and it's almost the holiday season, which means that four hour drive to your grandma's house is right around the corner. You know, I get a little bit of motion sick, so I just try to get my mind off it, just like have some zen moments. These road trips, you know, they're very tough, they're very long, but don't worry, I have seven hacks that'll make your road trip bearable. It's time to hack your road trip. phone hanger. So you know when you're like watching a video on your phone in the car, you get this like crink in your neck and it hurts really bad so you try to do it like and then your shoulders hurt. It's a whole situation. So this mimics, you know like the people that have like on the back head of their seats they have like a little media thing. It's basically just like that but you know you don't have to pay for that little extra feature in your car. You just do this. I bet you have like a pencil case with like a clear little pouch. I definitely had one like all throughout elementary school and there's a ribbon and some Velcro. First thing you do, you apply three pairs of Velcro. So I'm gonna do right here, here. And if you're a little OCD like I am, <laughs> basically what you can do is you take the fluffy side, you stick it on to the pointy side, stick it on there. And then you flip it where you want it to crease and you press. And now, they're perfectly lined up. I like that. Okay, then once you put your phone in here, you have to attach the ribbon. Then you just kind of feed it through, tie a little knot. Then you leave some room for the headrest. And there you go. Perfect, because you just kind of loop it around the head, and there it is. Put your phone, and you can even like sneak the little cords out. It's like you're listening with headphones, you need to plug in your phone. You can just kind of unzip it a little bit, and the cord goes right through. So it's perfect. And the reason why you want the Velcro right here is because, do you see this little, this little lip right here? If you put your phone normally in it and you hang it, half your phone gets like cut off from this part. So all you want is like the clear side. So you just kind of flip it up and that way all you can see is your phone, which is pretty cool. All right. Moving on. <laughs> Next up we have trash and recycling bins. For this DIY I'll need two cereal Tupperware containers, grocery bags, and trash. I also printed out decals, but you don't have to. They're cleanly, they're easy, you know, they're cute because, you know, decals. And yeah, you can easily refill them because you can just put another grocery bag in there. And they're eco-friendly because you can separate your trash from your recycling. And the Tupperware does a really good job of keeping the smell in. Because the last thing you need on a road trip is a smelly car. Next up, we have DIY car air fresheners. All you need is glue, clothespins, pom-poms, and essential oils from my maker kits. Let's do it. Get your glue and you make four little dots like this. One. And you're gonna have a little pom-poms. Gently set that aside. Okay, so now that it's semi-dry, I'm gonna take my sweet orange oil, take a little pipette, squeeze it, and just like drench each pom-pom with all the essential oils. You really want your car to smell nice. Then after you fill it up with all these essential oils, all you have to do is clip it to your air vent and it'll literally just like get all the air to smell like sweet orange and it smells super good. There we go. Ta-da! And for our next hack, we have a water bottle leash. All you need for this hack is a water bottle and some ribbon. So I always find myself losing my cap in the car and it's either in between the seats, underneath with all the like mechanics and I can never find it. So all you do is basically tie this to the seatbelt buckle and you can't lose it. It's on a leash, you know, like, a weird, here it is. And if you ever get bored, you can just take your water bottle on a walk at a rest stop. <laughs> I mean, you'd look a little sad, but go off, you know? Okay, moving on. You're in the back seat. It's two hours in. You know, you're gonna lose your mind. You gotta sleep and the seatbelt is cutting into your neck. You're gonna lose it, I'm gonna cry, don't, okay? 
You got a seatbelt pillow. You don't even need to sew. All you need is a blanket and some Velcro straps. You basically just wrap the blanket around the seatbelt like so, and then you just secure it with the Velcro straps. Looks like that, but then like, like that. Just imagine me. Okay, moving on. Next, we have a sunglass clip. All you need is a binder clip and a hair tie and some cute stickers if you want. All you have to do, put the rubber band in there and you just kind of like loop-de-loop -loop it around. And then you grab your sunglasses and look at this. Magic. Let's move on. And last but not least, guys, you're three hours in. The sun is still blaring. You're on the bad side of the car because, you know, your brother, he got the good side. He's chilling. You're not. You got the sun. What are you going to do? You use this. A shade screen slash filter. Because when you put this up against the window, it creates like this like weird iridescent glow in your photos. It's kind of bomb, not gonna lie. So you get the binder clip, clip it to all of the scarves, then you just suction cup it to the window, and you're chilling. No more sun, cute photos. You're killing it. Ooh, that was kind of pretty. Wait, ready? And that is it for today's video, hackers. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. If you guys want your very own toolkit or aroma diffuser or any of my maker kits, make sure to check them out on Amazon or goldieblocks.com. I got a long road trip ahead of me, hackers. Goldieblocks, going to grandma's.